Hey everybody, I just wanna ask a question. Have you ever had to leave what you were doing and join your anointing with someone else in order to move forward? So I wanna talk a little bit about Judges um, 4 and we're talking about Deborah. And Deborah is a judge and she is a prophetess and she's sitting under the palm tree and the people of Israel would come to her when they had problems, they needed decisions about things, they needed help, they would come to her and she would help them through it. Well, there's also an enemy in the midst and um, Barak comes to Deborah. Barak is the commander of the army and Barak comes to Deborah and says, hey, I need you. He says to her, if you will go with me, then I will go. But if you do not go with me, then I will not go. He needed her anointing to join with his in order to go after the enemy. And he says, I can't go without you. And she says to him, I will certainly go with you. Never, nevertheless, the journey that you are about to take will not be for your honor and glory because the Lord will sell Sisera into the hands of a woman. And she gets all of her belongings and she goes with Barak to defeat the enemy. And what's interesting is um, she wasn't the one that even brought the enemy down. It was someone else. It was another woman, JL. But it took all the anointings. It took Deborah and her wisdom, her anointing as a judge, her anointing as a prophetess. It took Barak and as the commander of the army to set the forward movement. And then it took JL to have the wisdom and the discernment to know how to defeat the enemy. And you know, what's interesting about this is uh, the enemy begins to come. He's hiding from Barak and he comes to JL and he says to her, you know, what do I do? Where can I go? And she says, come uh, and into my tent, come and I will help you. So she gets him all settled in. And then uh, when the time is just right, she's the one that brings the final blow to the enemy. It was her courage. It was her ability to position him and let him get comfortable so that she could give the final blow. So when we think about what's going on in our lives, when we think about even what's going on around us, sometimes we have to leave, like Deborah had to leave her position for a moment to join her anointing with Barak in order to position them to push the enemy into JL's hand. So I, I want us to really think about this and just ask the Lord, I know my assignment and I know what you're having me to do, but as the opportunities are presented to me, will you show me how to join my anointing with others for the victory that we need for the kingdom of God? You know, it's such a good word to understand that we are all part of God's army and he is moving all of us in a direction so that the enemy can get defeated and he will be defeated. The victory is in the hand of the Lord and he has given an army, his people, the strategy in order to uh, defeat the enemy. And that strategy actually joins with the, with the host of heaven that are, are fighting with us, that angelic army that is fighting with us to destroy the works of the enemy. So no matter what's going on around you, just ask the Lord, do I need to join my anointing with someone else to defeat the enemy that is coming against us in this season? So I love you guys, and I want to encourage you that God has anointed you. He is using you. He is going to bless you in, in the actions that you take, and he's going to be a wall of fire around you to protect you. So know that when you've done everything you can do, then we stand and we see the victory of the Lord around us. Bless you guys. Love y'all.